Hey YouTubers, me again. I got up this morning and I was checking some of my feeds and I still see these people fighting over the, the Cannon, Heinen, and, and George Floyd issue. And guys, listen to me. This stuff needs to be addressed. Yes, they were both travesties. It doesn't it doesn't matter the age, you know. It doesn't matter the color, but that's what everybody's doing here. That's what everybody's doing here. And it's on both sides of the spectrum. I've seen some of the comments that was posted about what happened to Cannon. And, I mean, it's downright disgusting. It really is. And the thing is, people, is y'all feeding this, this race war with it. You know, when I went on and posted everybody, you said that there has to be awareness. Yes, there has to be awareness. But it's not a war. It's not a battle. It's not because George Floyd was black and, and Cannon was white. It was the fact that there's evil everywhere. Now, I don't care if George Floyd had a criminal record. Okay, what happened to him should never happen. Okay, and the officer responsible should be held accountable. Okay, and I do mean for murder. Okay, and then the Cannon Heinen thing. Yes, that was a travesty, but guess what? Everybody out there posting, justice for Cannon, justice for Cannon. They caught him. He's going to prison for life, okay? They got their justice. And, and a lot of people don't realize, anybody check with the family to see how they feel about it? Everybody's worried that he didn't get media coverage. I've explained it in the past video. You know why George Floyd got media coverage and Cannon didn't, okay? Because it doesn't fit the narrative, okay? Right now... Our country's going through all kinds of craziness. And Donald Trump is building enemies. And I'm not a very political person, but I respect what pr Trump's been trying to do. Seriously. I owe him an apology. Because anybody who knows me, I had nothing to do with politics for a long time. But George Floyd, they had a funeral progression for him on TV. Because that's that was the people in power showing off. That's the people in power trying to fix their agenda. Trying, trying to get the uh, black Americans to accept them and, and to fill their agenda, okay? Another good example of all this is like uh, here in Alabama, they had a protest about the Confederate flag, which both flags need to fly as part of our history, okay? And uh, But I saw the video of what these people were doing in front of the college campus, okay? And we got these white guys and one black guy, and that was the whole interview about it was a, a black guy protesting to protect the confederate flag which i would understand that but he was shooting racial slurs at other black people talking about how both his parents were white and he was raised this way and i mean literally still this day these white men were out there saying hey if you don't like it get back on the boat hello hello hey white people are you native american no why are you going to tell somebody to get back on the boat okay i'm irish german okay i was born here in america I'm an American citizen, okay? Just like everybody else, okay? My parents were born and raised here. My grandparents were born and raised here. But their parents came over from, guess what? A boat! So how are you going to sit there and tell somebody else, if you don't like it, you can leave America and get back on the boat, okay? Here's the reality check, guys. If you can't handle the fact that our Constitution is designed for the people of all race and color and religion and everything to be free, then you need to get on a boat. You need to leave. Okay? We fought a civil war, and we pushed a civil rights movement. And I know that our history has proven that our education system teaches people to be racist. It does. Especially if you're white, okay? If, if you're not racist in America, and I, what is her name? There's this... What is her name? There's this woman that's been an educator for years. Now, I'll have to look it up and get back to you guys on it. I think that's going to be a piece I'm going to cover. But she said it best. If you were a white person in the educational system in America and not racist, you were the miracle. Are you educated yourself? Well, guess what? I educated myself because, you know, I had to learn the hard way. I grew up in a household that believed what the school systems taught you, you know. Uh... Then I ended up uh, 
you know, being like any other Joe, I worked a job, I did that for a long time, the company went bankrupt, I'm like, I'm going to go back to college, well, guess what, ended up living in the hood, me, my young wife, my kids, uh, and you know what, dude, I was like maybe one of four white families in that neighborhood, and you realize that that was the only time in my life that I didn't have to fight to be heard, or had to fight to survive, I never went hungry, you know? So everybody's sitting there, like, trying to diverse everybody from color? I, I mean, seriously. It's, it's getting old. This race war is getting old. And any of you out there that take my words, like I was saying, make awareness of what's going on with, with Cannon Heinen, because he's not the only child, okay? Kids are disappearing left and right all the time and coming up missing, and they're finding their bodies everywhere. You know, you can't focus on the one thing. And first, just, ooh, I'm so frustrated over this. I'm sorry. We got to quit making it a race issue. Okay? Because what we're doing is we're giving, we're giving the ones who write the narrative the power. Okay? And I'm not going to point out names or anything. It's all out there. Do your research. But the ones in power are doing their best. And they are starting with the black Americans. They're going to try... And wipe them out first. And it's... I'm done. Okay? This white supremacy BS. It is BS. And all the, those of you who backed it. Okay? You guys are being stooped. Because the people that are in power that are using you guys to push these movements. They don't care about you either. They don't. What all of them want is obedient slaves. And they don't care your color or your sexuality, or your religious beliefs. They just want enough of us around to cater to them. And that's a reality that if you dig, you'll find. And I'm sorry I came out here and just started getting angry, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't take it anymore, guys. They're, <sighs> these things that are happening right now are tragedies. And I'm trying to get people to be aware and explain to other people that these tragedies are happening. And they have more darker undertones than anybody's realizing. Okay? That's pretty much all I got, guys. I was on a rant and rave. And I apologize if I upset anybody by being angry. But we got, we got to stop. I mean, we are one nation under God. One nation under God. And if we don't get our country back to normal, and we let everything ride out the way that it's riding right now, there'll be no constitution. And if the United States falls, the rest of the world is, is doomed. Our country's the last hope. It really is. And we gotta stop now. My patriots, peace. Be safe. We'll talk again, maybe.